might be wearing your shorts wrong. Today, I'm gonna to share some tips on how to wear your shorts the right way over 40. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time since I've done a video focused on shorts, specifically shorts over 40. It's a very tricky topic and I know shorts are one of those things that not all of us want to wear and you certainly don't have to. Don't feel compelled to wear them at all if you don't like them, if you have varicose veins you don't want standing out, if you aren't comfortable with your skin, you have to do what's right for you, what makes you feel most comfortable. I'm just gonna walk through some of the do's and the don'ts. First, I wanna start with the don'ts. So the don'ts are, especially over 40, don't wear short shorts. Are there exceptions to this rule? Absolutely. If you're on the beach, if you're in Miami Beach, you're somewhere on a boat, you know, things like that, totally fine. Wear whatever you want, doesn't matter, right? But out in public running errands, you know, you just have to be a little bit more aware of what's appropriate and what's not. Basically, I think that you should look for shorts that kind of pass that fingertip test that I've talked about before, and that's just where you hold your arms down by your sides, and then you see like, hmm, where do my fingertips land? So with these shorts, it's actually a little bit below the fingertip. And I'm not gonna lose sleep over that, and neither should you. If you have particularly long arms, don't worry about it. I'm like, give or take three, two, three inches, right? We just want it to be in that zone, and that's a great length, I think, for women over 40 if you're out and about in public with your shorts on. Here's an example of a pair of shorts that are too short for my age. So these are shorts that I had, I don't know, like I bought them like 10 years ago. I just, I just held on to them for the beach and for those occasions I was talking about before. You literally can see the shape of my butt cheek hanging out of the shorts. And I don't think that's appropriate pretty much regardless of what your age is. Again, with the exception of the things I talked about before. But it's really, it's a tough thing to wear these out in public. I think you're just asking for attention to be called. And I'm not sure that's a good, classy, sophisticated look, especially for those of us over 40. Instead, look for a longer pair of shorts that again are in that fingertip range. And I think you're going to feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more polished, sophisticated in that length. The second don't for shorts is to wear shorts that are too tight around the legs. When you wear shorts that are too tight, it's going to make the legs look larger, okay? This is very important to understand. So it's almost better to, with shorts to size up so you have a little bit more room in the legs. Here's an example of a pair that I have. These are pretty old. They're a faux leather pair, I think from the Nordstrom sale a couple of years ago. But you see how they have almost like an A-line shape to the leg and then in each leg, there's like three or four inches of room. You don't have to go that roomy, but you see the idea here. You can see side by side of me in a tighter fitting pair of shorts and a roomier pair of shorts. My legs look much smaller in the roomier shorts. It is one of these things I don't think anyone talks about or anyone teaches you, but when you do have a little extra room in the leg of your shorts, your legs will look tinier. So make sure if like you're not sure about sizing, like I would go with the size up. Get that roomy leg. You can also strategically select shorts that have that more A-line leg shape, like this pair of shorts does. Another pair of shorts that I love that do have that A-line leg shape is this pair by Marissa Webb, and I featured these on the blog last year. I just, this is one of my favorite pairs of shorts. I don't think this exact pair is available, but she has a really cool pair in like an army green color that is available this season that I think would look amazing. And they have that leg room that I was talking about. Another don't is just don't pair your shorts with just anything. Another way to say that is style your shorts thoughtfully. And that's a complete head to toe look. Think about your hair. Think about what you're wearing on top. Think about your shoe choices. I see this a lot with women over 40 where they'll throw on a pair of shorts and then they'll style it almost like too conservatively or too prim like with the sweater set and the pearls and they got the mom bob going and the shorts are long and then they have you know, more of a flat sandal. It looks too 
matronly or too dowdy. You don't want to go in that direction either. So style your shorts very thoughtfully. And a great rule of thumb is to think about adding one really modern piece to that shorts look to keep it more modern and youthful because you don't want to go into that like front town area. Now that we've covered some of the don'ts, let's get into the do's, okay? The do's are wear a longer inseam. We talked about wearing those longer shorts. Think about a three inch or longer inseam. If you are petite like me, I think three inches is fine because honestly, when you wear a shorter inseam, you're going to have longer looking legs. It gives the appearance of longer legs. So it's not always a great thing to wear the longest shorts. Be thoughtful and strategic about that inseam length based on your comfort level, based on your height, and pick out the shorts that are right for you. So for me, I do prefer a three to five inch inseam length. If you are 5'10", you may prefer a five to seven inch inseam length. You just have to find the inseam length that's right for you. So when you're shopping online for your shorts, you can be really thoughtful in looking at those descriptions and the information and finding that detail of that inseam length. Let's go back to my denim shorts again, the do and the don't. The first pair, the inseam length was like an inch literally an inch and then the do pair the longer pair is more like a three inch inseam length so you can see what a difference just a couple of inches can make on a pair of jean shorts my second do is do ed coverage what do I mean by that I mean think about maybe adding a little bit more coverage in other areas because you are showing so much leg so basically not what I'm doing right now. Maybe try a t-shirt, just a t-shirt with, with short sleeves. That'll give you a little more coverage in your arm area. Here's an example of me wearing a white t-shirt with shorts. It's really simple, really casual, but it does give me some more coverage. Another option is a button down. And I know a lot of you live in really hot climates, but even when I lived in Texas for eight years, I would wear lightweight button downs all the time and this shirt is by rails it's one of my favorites it's a white button down it doesn't wrinkle that easily which is why i love it so much it sort of already has that like wrinkly appearance um, but it doesn't get more wrinkly than that it's also very soft it also ties easily if you want to tie it at the waist it's a really lightweight thin cotton solid button down shirt the second example i wanted to show you guys is actually the same button down shirt but in a striped pattern it's a blue and white stripe vertical stripes very slimming but again you can see i have more coverage here my arms are covered my chest is pretty covered this might make you feel more comfortable when you're wearing those shorts a little bit more polished and sophisticated and i just paired this button down with another pair of a goldie jean shorts these are in white and again you know a three inch inseam length so it's a longer inseam length and then on my feet a pair of saludos flat gold flats these are great by the way i really love these but you could do sneakers you could do flat sandals you know anything you have already in your closet another option for more coverage is to wear a blazer and here again you might be like what blazer in the summer no even if you are in sweltering hot heat a blazer is such a great thing to have, especially if you're in and out of really heavily air conditioned areas. Now we're not probably going in and out of restaurants too much, but hopefully that will resume and we will be going in and out of restaurants. So here's a really fun, great, sophisticated, modern look with shorts, adding that really lightweight white blazer over it. And I just paired it with a simple ivory cami. This white blazer is an oldie from Nordstrom. The line is called Mural. I will try to find one that's very similar for you guys in case you're interested. But I love the length of this blazer and how it almost comes to the bottom of the shorts. It just really kind of elongates, pulls everything together. It's just a great, cool look. And again, not frumpy or dowdy or too matronly. I feel like this still looks modern. And then on my feet, a pair of Valentino sandals, which you guys may remember from my designer dupe video where I compared the Valentinos with the Tucker Nut version. Such a good video, by the way. If you missed it, go back and watch that. It's really good. I'll put a link to it below. There you have a polished, up-level kind of shorts outfit. <laughs> so we talked about those tight, tight shorts around the legs as a don't. So the do is do look for roomy legs. Do look for shorts with roomy legs. 
okay? Could be that sort of A-line leg shape, almost like a flared short, or just size up and know that you're gonna have like a little extra room in that shorts. So again, here's a pair that I've had for a couple of years, faux leather, really chic, but a lot of leg room there. So my legs look much smaller with all that leg room. Do add bronzer to your legs. Oh, my legs do not look like they used to. I am 45 years old, almost 46 in a couple months. And I've noticed a lot of skin laxity and lumps and bumps that were not there. I don't like the way my knees look particularly anymore. So I love to put a little bronzer on my legs. So what I actually do is mix bronzer with some coconut oil, and then I will blend that into my legs so that I feel like they just look a little bit more luminescent and it's kind of covering some of those blemishes. I love the Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Bronze and I mix that with just some organic coconut oil and that's what I use. If you're worried about heavier blemishes like varicose veins, for example, or scarring, then you can go more of like the Dermablend route and they have great body makeup that will cover some of those blemishes up for sure. Okay, and my last do is do dress up your shorts. I think that we have this feeling that shorts are just so casual and we're gonna pair it with casual pieces. And yes, shorts are casual, but when you pair them with elevated pieces, then your shorts outfit does go whoop way up, right? So again, let's look at some examples. We can wear the white button down with the shorts and that elevates the look. We can wear a white silky blouse like this frame blouse with the faux leather shorts that definitely elevates it. Or again, that blazer look that I showed you before with the white long boyfriend blazer over the cami and the jean shorts. Such a cool, lovely look. But there are definitely ways that you can dress up your shorts. Let's go back to the Marissa Webb shorts. Here's another way you can dress up your shorts. They're really lovely shorts. I paired it with a frame sleeveless silky blouse and some heels and it looks really chic. Let's recap. So do look for that longer inseam, three inches or longer. Do look for roomy legs. The roominess in the legs, in the shorts, will make your legs look smaller and slimmer. Do add coverage for sophistication and elevation. Do add bronzer to your legs as well as lotion. Don't forget to add the lotion. And do dress up your shorts because you could really take your shorts look way up by adding some sophisticated pieces like heels like a belt, like a blazer, like a hat. Here's an example of me wearing a hat with just jeans and shorts and all of a sudden that look is way cooler. So don't be afraid to try hats as well. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have you found a holy grail pair of shorts that you think is amazing? Please share that in the comments below. I will link all of the looks that I featured in this video in the description box. And if you like this video, and you want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.